This car looks possessed. Do you feel sweaty? Yeah, mild sweaty. Can I try your hand? Yeah. Definitely sweating. If you've ever read a book in a car, chances are you know what motion sickness feels like. But the causes of motion sickness remain largely a mystery. With the growth in both ride sharing and autonomous vehicle technology, we could have a lot more free time in cars. So can technology provide a remedy for motion sickness? We're in suburban Boston today to learn about a company called Clear Motion, which is working on a technology to try to combat motion sickness. The MIT-born Clear Motion was founded in 2009. Their mission? To improve the quality of time and motion. The company has created a digital suspension, one that can adjust the ride of the car through electronic adjusters controlled by computers. With this, Clear Motion hopes, comes a potential reduction in motion sickness. About one in three people are highly prone to motion sickness that comes from movement like traveling in cars, boats, and airplanes, according to the National Institutes of Health. Some scientists think motion sickness happens because the brain is getting mixed messages. The inner ear and other parts of the body sense that you're in motion, but your eyes are telling your brain that you're still. This is why reading in a bumpy car can be a good trigger and traveling facing backwards can be unnerving, a feature that is increasingly popular in autonomous vehicle prototypes. Researchers say that drivers don't experience motion sickness as much as passengers, and as autonomous vehicles begin to roll out, there could be fewer drivers and more passengers on the road. So next up, we're gonna show you the, uh, the Dyno Lab. So here's where we could actually do accelerated testing. Uh, to really prove out that the system could last the life of the car. So we're going to actually uh, take this unit, install it on this dyno, and uh, what we're then going to run is an actual input profile. So this is the active valve. So how it works is you have one of these at each wheel of the car, and it actually has uh, software and sensors built into this. And what it's doing is it's sensing small perturbations from the road that are moving the wheels, and it's sensing uh, any sort of motion from the vehicle itself. And what it does is it tries to cancel out that input. You've seen suspension. This is our next generation product. So here we're actively isolating. We're using a lot of the similar software and controls, but we're actively isolating a seat. So this platform is representing what would be essentially a very rocky ride on the road. Yes. And the seat there is not moving. A key thing for Clear Motion to figure out was how effective its technology might be at mitigating motion sickness. To do that, they enlisted a team of Brandeis University researchers who are monitoring test subjects in vehicles with both clear motion technology and normal suspension. I wanted to put the clear motion technology to the test myself, so I joined Jana Kaplan, a researcher on the Brandeis team, for an unofficial test ride. Zero is no symptoms at all. Ten is close to vomiting. You will reach for this bag when you're at about eight. Eight, okay. okay? I get in two cars, one with clear motion technology and the other with a normal suspension. This was a blind test. Kaplan did not tell me which car I'd be traveling in prior to the ride. How do you feel now? Comfortable or not comfortable? Well, probably zero. Okay. Comfortable. Read the passage. It's a three-minute read. So I'm reading something about Dreamhouse. How clearly were you able to understand the text on 0 to 10 scale? Mm, 3. How would you rate your nausea? 0. So this vehicle seems like this is the active safety system. Well, I told them you were smart. <laughs> yes, it is. So we're in car number 2. Uh, we're going to do it all again. So press go. Are we going on the same road as before? Or is this, a, is this a rougher road? It's the same road exactly. Ooh. Now you have to read the text. How nauseous did you feel? Well, I'm definitely aware that I have a stomach. Okay, what about understanding the text? It's a tough go. Um, probably about a four. Well, I just kind of feel like I'm moving around a lot. I don't know, you know, it's kind of, uh, definitely wouldn't want to read a lot. We are done. We can go back to the base. Brandeis researchers tested dozens of subjects for this project and found the system helped delay and mitigate symptoms. But it's still early days over who might implement the best countermeasure for motion sickness. Clear Motion faces competition from tech and auto giants. After taking two cars on two different test rides, I can tell you that I could tell the difference between these vehicles. Uh, the ride in the second vehicle 
it was a, a lot rougher, uh, a lot uh, less of an enjoyable experience. It was difficult to uh, pay attention to the reading material. And I can imagine a situation if this was an autonomous car and I had all the time in the world to be reading, I wouldn't want to be doing it, and which underscores really why this company and others are trying to develop technology to combat motion sickness. So one of the challenges in this sector is that some, OE, some automakers and some tech companies were very um, enthusiastic about the deployment of fully autonomous vehicles. And since then, we've seen kind of pullback in some of these timelines. Sure. How does that affect you as you try to supply them for the parts they need in the future? Yeah, so that's, that's one of the keys. We've got a product that meets a need today, which is better ride uh, handling and safety. And then you have this sort of longer term story. So for us, the potential push out of autonomy is not a huge factor because all of our contracts today are really around um, you know, supplying to vehicles that are being produced. I'd say another thing that's also interesting is this concept of the head start. I think people are finally, finally recognizing that EVs are going to be very important. And Tesla is effectively operating this bubble for a decade. They've got a serious head start from the other automakers. And uh, likewise, we see sort of this sort of head start mentality where starting out in the premium segment, we built a patent portfolio of 280 patents so far. Then we see this sort of head start, let's get out there, prove out the technology. As soon as this market comes, we're going to be ready. ClearMotion has raised about $280 million to date with participation from Microsoft and Bridgestone. These kinds of investments show that investors are thinking about what needs to occur after driverless cars are deployed years from now and what humans are going to need as passengers.